What's up y'all? It's your girl Anaya and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super super excited because today is the kickoff of 10 days of medical assisting. So yes, that's right. A whole 10 days of me talking about nothing but medical assisting. So I'm going to be making all these videos and hopefully it will help you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy them okay today i know you guys seen the title of that video today we're going to be talking about how much medical assistants make in 2021 so there is a lot of um discrepancy a lot of back and forth about how much medical assistants make we all know that it can vary from state to state uh, so so today we're going to be tackling that monster how much medical assistants make and how much you can expect to be making if you are a newly certified medical assistant about to go into the health care field so if this is something that you're interested in go ahead and smash that like button for me and look around my channel if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe So today our information is going to be coming from ZipRecruiter. In the past, I have found uh, national averages for salaries on ZipRecruiter that were pretty accurate. So today is going to be no different. I'm going to go back to ZipRecruiter to see how much medical assistance make in the United States on average. So as of August 12th, 2021, the national average for medical assistance is $14.76 per hour so if you were wondering what that um, equates to that's going to equate to $1,180 every two weeks before taxes and $2,360 every month if you get paid on a bi-weekly basis before taxes so um, even though $14.76 is the national average that's going to be like the middle so there are going to be some people who make more than that there are going to be some people who make less than that there have been documented wages as low as nine dollars and 38 cent uh, for medical assistance i'm not sure what state that is coming from what area that is coming from but um, people have documented earning wages as low as that for medical assistant work. On the flip side of that, people have also documented earning wages as high as $19.95 per hour um, for their medical assistant jobs. So a lot of different things are going to play into whether you're going to be on the lower side of the spectrum or the higher side of the spectrum. The biggest one that most people know about is obviously state. Uh, some states pay more than other states simply just because the cost of living in certain states is much higher. So in those states, more than likely you're gonna get paid much higher as a medical assistant. In other states like Kentucky, I like to say, uh, Kentucky since I am from Kentucky born and raised, I like to say our cost of living is not really that high, you know? so. You're not going to really find, you know, salaries on the higher end of the spectrum in Kentucky just because the cost of living is much lower than what you might find in like California. So in Kentucky, I'd say medical assistant jobs were paying anywhere between like 13 and 15 or maybe 13 and 16 if you're lucky. Um, really th between like 13 and 15 if you were a certified medical assistant they were paying in between 13 and 15 dollars an hour um, for your work <clears throat> but obviously you know it does depend on the clinic the hospital uh, you know it depends on the city it everything it just a lot of different things go into it as far as you know what you're gonna be paid you can always request more if you know you're used to getting paid a certain amount let's say in one state and then you move jobs you could ask them to match that if you are used to getting paid a certain salary um but you know that's always that's never going to be guaranteed so yes that is what we're used to in kentucky 
Another thing to note about this whole notion of pay and how much I'm going to get paid as a medical assistant is right now we are currently still in a pandemic. So will you see spiked kind of like, you know, offers because we're in a pandemic? Maybe if you live in a um, in an area where there is a medical professional or medical assistant shortage, you might see salaries a little bit higher than you know the average there also are going to be more opportunities for you know COVID response teams people who are giving vaccinations and doing COVID testing and those typically pay um, a little bit more than the national averages as well so because we are in a pandemic right now you may see some spiked offers but that is only a product of our circumstances that we're in right now. That is the pays that we're getting offered are a product of our environment. So they will come and go, which is why a lot of people have been taking advantage of this, um, these opportunities. So more specifically nurses, I know a lot of nurses are getting paid much, much more, you know, to travel because they're getting paid COVID pay. So um, that's pretty much that on pay for medical assistance. If you want a better breakdown of, you know, how much you're gonna get paid or you can expect to get paid in your state, I'm gonna link down below the link to this page, ZipRecruiter, it does have the breakdown of state and it shows you the average of how much medical assistance make in each state. So. With that being said, this was a short one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure if you have not yet, you hit that like button. Comment down below with some things that you wanna see from me or any questions that you may have. And of course, look around on my channel. If you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe and join our family. XOXO, Anaya Nashay.